Bangle Aru based DCX Systems has secured a 52 crore rupees order from Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems for the supply of cable and wire harness assemblies. A Shukhoi SJ-100 aircraft has been showcased in Indian tricolor markings with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited logo for Wings India 2026, prominently featuring HAL branding ahead of the upcoming air show. China is constructing new buildings near the military buffer zone with India at Pangong Tso, within Chinese-held territory. Pakistan has claimed to conduct a successful flight test of its 600 km range Taimur Air launched subsonic cruise missile, but the official test video shows the missile failing to strike the designated target area. The RDO's cannon launched anti-tank guided missile for the Arjun main battle tank is set to enter production, after the Ministry of Defense granted acceptance of necessity, nearly a decade after development was completed. The Indian Army plans to induct a highly mobile new multi-mode multifunction weapon locating radar to address future battlefield threats. The AESA-based system is intended to replace multiple specialized radars with a single integrated sensor, capable of simultaneously detecting aerial ground and artillery threats. Latest reports indicate that the Indian Army's recent artillery order under the Universal Multi-Caliber Rocket Launcher Program, based on the Israeli Pulse system, has been officially renamed the Suryastra Universal Multi-Caliber Rocket Launcher. Under the program, the Indian Army will acquire the 300 km range Predator Hawk tactical ballistic missile, over 500 extra extended range guided rockets with 150 km range, and 120 Delilah ground launched precision strike missiles with 250 km range. Retired Lieutenant General Kartoch has stated that Indian Army never pushed for the US origin striker armored vehicle, and the pressure instead came from the Ministry of Defense, and the Army's operational preferences and indigenous options were overridden by bureaucratic considerations. He highlighted that the WAP aligned with Army requirements, and that there was sustained Defense Ministry pressure to pursue joint production of the striker. The DRDO has received acceptance of necessity for a new long-range air-to-surface supersonic cruise missile, that will be integrated on Indian Air Force platforms such as the Su-30 and Rafale aircraft. Unlike subsonic systems like the indigenous technology cruise missile, the ramjet-powered long-range air-to-surface supersonic cruise missile marks a clear shift toward faster and harder to intercept weapons, while reducing reliance on imported cruise missiles. The DRDO has received acceptance of necessity for the BM-04 short-range ballistic missile, which is a 1,500 km range road mobile canister launched ballistic missile, clearing the way for hardware development and flight trials. It features a fixed-wing configuration for improved control and accuracy, and will carry a 500 kg conventional warhead, that will provide a credible high-accuracy strike option below the nuclear threshold. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has released an expression of interest for the selection of a development and production partner for the GATAC remotely piloted strike aircraft program. The expression of interest invites Indian vendors to participate in the engineering manufacturing assembly integration testing and evaluation of the remotely piloted strike aircraft, to ensure smooth transition from development to series production. The DRDO chief has stated that the Tejas Mark II program is moving ahead as planned, with the first flight targeted for June 2026. The program has entered an advanced stage, with systems integration progressing steadily. The first flight will initiate a comprehensive flight test campaign to validate aerodynamics propulsion flight control laws and mission systems. The first prototype will be powered by the F-414 engine, eight of which were delivered earlier by General Electric for development and testing purposes. Today's top 3 comments.